X-Men First Class deals with the, the beginnings of the relationship between Professor Xavier and Magneto. Name's Xavier. Charles Xavier, how do you do? Cheers. And ultimately the formation of the X-Men. Charles grew up in a beautiful estate and very sort of nurtured of surroundings, whereas Eric's basically had to sort of survive without parents from a very young age. My son is finished! Eric was embittered by the Holocaust and hell-bent on revenge. So much more to you than you know. Not just pain and anger. There's good in you too. That's the dynamic of the movie. It's two people having such different beginnings and knowing that they're gonna come together and change the world. I call it Cerebro. The electrodes connect Charles to the transmitter on the roof. When he picks up a mutant, his brain sends a signal through a relay. Cerebro is a device that Professor X uses to locate mutants. So we're to be the CIA's new mutant division, yes? Something like that. He starts to see where all the other mutants exist in the world and finds a couple promising souls. How would you like a job where you get to keep your clothes on? We have a situation. They're recruiting. Mutants are these people that have these extraordinary powers. They are the sort of homo sapiens to the Neanderthal, and the mutants are the next stage up. I can't stop thinking about the others out there. I could feel them. The world is just now beginning to learn that there are mutants. You have the younger generation of mutants developing and discovering their powers. We can help them. Can we? Identification, that's how it starts. It ends with being rounded up, <sighs> experimented on, eliminated. You just see these people, and they're embarrassed, and they feel awkward, and like they're sort of misfits. You want society to accept you, but you can't even accept yourself. And for all these guys, that's what being a mutant is like. It's this dark secret which is stopping you from maybe having the life you wish. You have no idea what I'd give to feel normal. normal. Professor X was kind of like a Martin Luther King during the Civil Rights Movement, and Magneto was a Malcolm X character. Both had very similar ideologies, but at the same time, very different ways of achieving their goals. In each of us, two natures are at war. Man's animal nature and his struggle to control it. Our big theme has always been tolerance. If you're different, be proud, it's okay. You're an exquisite creature. All your life, the world has tried to tame you. It's time for you to be free. When a stronger species mutates, the first thing they do is they kill off the weak. Charles is trying to find a peaceful way of dealing with it. And Eric's like, wake up, smell the coffee, let's just get on with it. Tomorrow, mankind will know that mutants exist. They'll fear us, and that fear will turn to hatred. Here you have mutants who see their superpowers as making them superior. And there are characters like Xavier who believes that compassion makes you superior. We have it in us to be the better men. We already are. We don't belong here. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. You don't want to be against the world, Charles. You want to be a part of it. In the end, one has to pick sides. Who's with me? Listen to me very carefully, my friend. Killing will not bring you peace. Peace was never an option.